Hey guys, Derek here, gonna be doing some more Halo 3. So someone in this lobby was trying to lag switch and doing a fucking terrible job at it, which that alone is kind of pathetic. If you need to lag switch to win a game, just stop playing games. Uh, but he tried to lag switch, was doing a bad job at it, and on top of that, the server cho chose him to be the host, so every single time he tried to lag switch, everyone had to reconnect and it stopped the game. So if you see the video cut, and just sudden jump in the video and then you see a split second of leaderboard that's me cutting out when the game had to reconnect and it did this literally 12 different times having to reconnect every 10 to 20 seconds tried to reconnect it was really frustrating and just majorly messed the flow of the game uh, eventually the server did actually end up kicking him out and uh, at that point we had a flawless no lag uh, just a, a smooth sailing game from there but the flow of the game was already kinda messed up I'm not really impressed with this game Play I have right here, but I am uploading it nonetheless just because of this map. So this map is called Cold Storage in Halo 3. For a lot of you older Halo fans like myself, it should look very, very familiar because this is chill out. Now I'm not entirely sure why they uh, they decided to change the aesthetics of it. Because in Halo 1, chill out was a Covenant type map. It was a lot of purple, a lot of pink, uh, but in Halo 3 they made like a human flood infested type area. Actually, I don't think this is human. This is more like a forerunner structure uh, that's just flood infested. I'm not sure why they did that. I'm not going to complain because I don't really care. I just care about the layout of the map because I absolutely loved it and they did a very, very faithful recreation. This, this map isn't any bigger or smaller than it was in Halo 1. Uh, the placement of the power weapons is identical. The placement of all the weapons is identical. The layout is identical. They did a very faithful job recreating it. And I'd love to see this come back because Chill Out has always been it might be my favorite Halo map. I'm not going to go ahead and say it's my favorite Halo map because there are so many of them. That's like, how do you choose what's your favorite Halo map? So many Halo 1 maps I just spent so much time playing and loved so much. Say, uh, Prisoner, Chill Out, Rat Race. Rat Race is definitely another map that doesn't get enough love. Uh, it rarely gets actually any love at all. Uh, you know, I'm kind of confused as to why Rat Race never got remade. Because it was a map that worked very, very well for pistols, no sh no shields. Basically, Halo 1 SWAT. And I'd like to see Rat Race come back for some SWAT. It'd be uh, it'd be great to see that. Because it's definitely a definitely a very interesting... Well, not really a very interesting map aesthetically, because it looks kind of boring. But the layout is just very, very good. Uh, it's one of the few Halo 1 maps that wasn't uh, asymmetrical, I want to say. But still, nonetheless, it was a good map. Um, yeah, I could go on for such a long time about how good the Halo 1 maps are, and Chill Out is definitely one of those maps that should have gotten a little bit more love. I was actually kind of expecting Chill Out to be remade for Halo Anniversary, uh, but it never did. The maps we ended up getting were... Uh, let me try to remember off the top of my head. Headlong, Prisoner, which I'm very glad they remade Prisoner. I loved Prisoner. My favorite thing to do in Halo 1... Maybe not my favorite thing, but definitely one of my favorite things to do was to play Rockets Only on Prisoner with 16 people. That is the most chaotic shit you are ever going to play. You spawn, instantly there are five rockets flying at you. It's just pure chaos. You don't really play that to be competitive or to win. You play that just to have fun, just because it's so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, Prisoner was one of the maps they brought back for Halo Anniversary. Uh, for some odd reason, they decided to bring back Headlong, which doesn't make much sense because that was a Halo 2 map, not a Halo 1 map. And, uh, what else was there? There was, a uh, Battle Creek, or Battle Canyon, as it was called in Halo 1. Of course, you gotta bring that map that back. That's everybody's favorite map. I was kind of surprised to see that not back in Halo 3. Um, I was also kind of surprised to not see Blood Gulch come back in Halo Anniversary. you think they would have added that, but they didn't. Um, so, yeah, that was there. They brought back Timberland, which kind of confused me, because if, if you're going to bring back any PC-exclusive map... You think they would bring back Danger Canyon? Because Danger Canyon was definitely, definitely my favorite, and I think everybody's favorite Halo uh, Halo One PC only map. But they brought back Timberland, which I'm not going to complain about, because Timberland works very, very well in uh, in Halo Reach. It, for something about it, for something about it, something about that map, it just flows very well with that game engine. So I can't really complain too much about it. It just seems a little bit like an odd. Uh, it seems to be an odd choice to me. And uh, there's probably a few others I'm forgetting, and this is where the server decided to kick him out of the game, and from here on, it was just smooth sailing. There was no more having to reconnect, the game simply just plain worked. Uh, so yeah, enjoying... Oh, I was going to pick up that overshield, and he got it. So yeah, let's go ahead and enjoy this game. Like I said, I'm not too thoroughly impressed 
with this match overall. There was a lot of kills that I should have gotten that I didn't get that frustrated me to no end and pissed me off because uh, on top of that there was, you know, at the beginning, like I said, a lot of lag. So I got Jude out of my kills via lag and then I also just kind of fucked myself up. Uh, the flow of the game was way off and then I just, I don't know, I couldn't really get into the game and really play to, you know, as good as I usually do. So. This is kind of lackluster gameplay, but you don't see this map ever get played, and it's really frustrating. Because this map shows up in the free-for-all playlist, it shows up in the voting a decent amount of times, and Ninja Cloat Guy out of nowhere killing me, thank you. But yeah, this map will show up in the map voting every once in a while. And uh, it does show up fairly, uh, very, fairly rarely, but people don't vote it. People veto this map. Why do you veto Chill Out? You have Slayer Battle Rifles on chill out why would you veto that that is one of the best halo maps you get uh, that they ever made in the history of halo why the fuck would you veto this it's something that i can never understand and incredibly it infuriates me when i'm trying to play halo 3 i see this come up and uh, see this to be the, the selected map and go hopefully i can play here i really like this map this is one of the my most fun things to do and then people veto it and then what do we get fucking oddball and midship or fucking infection on uh Andromeda or something like that. Those are not good game modes. Look what you vetoed to get. Ah, uh, people just frustrating me. I, I could really rant about this for a very, very long time because that's all that happened when I was playing Halo 3 this weekend. It's just bad voting. Uh, so, frustration aside, this was literally the only match I actually got to play this weekend on this map. Every other time it got vetoed. So, I figured I'd go ahead and upload this map nonetheless. Just cut out all the, um, cut out all of the host migration, not host migration, just the game trying to reconnect to itself, basically. I'd cut that out and then upload the gameplay and say, here you go, here's some chill out in Halo 3. Uh, just because it's so rare, I'd like to at least get some gameplay of it up. Like I said, I really can't stress how much I like this map. And, you know, it seems to be one of those maps that it would work. Um, this is one of the few Halo 1 maps that wasn't asymmetrical and it would work in Halo 3, and it does work in Halo 3 very well. It would work in Halo 2 as well, uh, just for kind of a, uh, <coughs> pardon me, just for like free fall and stuff like that. Uh, but for whatever reason, they just decide, uh, apparently, they decide that it's just not going to be a very, very good map to run flow with Halo 2. So they just don't include it, which is a little annoying. Anyway, one kill away from winning. Uh, this kind of a slow match lasted a little bit longer than it was, sh than it should have. There was less people than there should have been. Um, Actually, one kill. I guess I need two kills here. Uh, there was less people in the server than there should have been, but that's why it was a little bit slow. Just three of us. There was four, and now three of us. So there's some more Halo 3. Hope you enjoyed the chill-out gameplay, and I'll see you later.